that we follow at Symbiosis International University, which means world as one family. Symbiosis proves to be a ground that nurtures and cares for all the students immaterial of their background, who not only come from different parts of the country, but from all over the world. We don't just coexist, but we work together and learn together in a way that benefits each and every one of us. I guess that indeed explains the word symbiosis and our university we so proudly represent. Good afternoon, guests, delegates, and everyone present here today. I, Neha Raghu, and I, Anushka Rai, students of MBA, hospital, and healthcare management from Symbiosis Institute of Health Sciences, on behalf of Faculty of Health Sciences, Symbiosis International University, welcome each and every one of you to the valedictory ceremony of SimHealth 2022. In consonance with transformative paradigms, the Faculty of Health Sciences has organized SimHealth 2022 a two-day national conference on transforming healthcare to empower allied and healthcare professionals, promote development, inculcate advanced technology to clinical practices, and understanding diagnostic and therapeutic modalities. The object of the objective of the conference is to create collaborative links between academics and professional practitioners and the workplace, aiming at long-term sharing of knowledge and discussion of current issues in the domain of health healthcare. At SimHealth 2022, we witness a series of talks on various topics in the healthcare domain, a blend of expertise delivered by an esteemed panel of speakers. I'm sure everyone found these sessions intense, intellectual, and insightful. Today's valedictory ceremony shall mark a defining point in the lives of the delegates who have completed their postgraduate diploma programs in various disciplines. Before we begin, let us take a walk down memory lane to trace the humble beginnings of the Faculty of Health Sciences to the unveiling of the Arogya Dham on the 6th of March, 2022, by the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. We welcome our dignitaries for the evening. I request Dr. Rajiv Yeraudeka, sir, Dean, Faculty of Health Sciences, to accompany the following dignitaries onto the desk. Dr. Raman Ganga Khedkar, CG Pandit, National Chair, Indian Council of Medical Research, New Delhi. <laughs> Professor Dr. S.B. Muzumda, sir, Founder and President, Symbiosis, Chancellor Symbiosis International University. Dr. Vidya Yeraudeka, ma'am, Pro-Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Principal Director of Symbiosis Society. Dr. Rajini Gupte, ma'am, Vice-Chancellor, Symbiosis International University. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once again in welcoming all the dignitaries with a big round of applause. Guest today. Dr. Raman Ganga Khedkar, CG Pandit, National Chair of the Indian Council of Medical Research, New Delhi. Dr. Raman was the former head of the Division of Epidemiology and Communicable Diseases in the Indian Council of Medical Research, New Delhi. Sir also served as the director of the National AIDS Research Institute, Pune, and was also a member of the Governing Council of the AIDS Society, India. Sir has also been a member of the National Advisory Board of the HIV Medicine Association of India and a mentor at the National Data Analysis Plan, National AIDS Control Organization. Sir is the chairperson at IEC, Symbiosis International University, Pune. He is also the recipient of various accolades, such as the FXB Fellowship, the Francois Xavier Bagnod Foundation, Switzerland, and the Fogarty Fellowship. Dr. Raman was also awarded the Padma Shri in 2020. I now request Dr. Raman Ganga Khedkar to address the gathering. Um, Professor Muzumdar. Dr. Gupte, 
डॉक्टर विद्या येरोडेकर डॉक्टर राजीव येरोडेकर एंड ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज ऑफ द डायस एंड फ्रेंड्स येस्टडे आय रेड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम द अजेंडा ऑफ द होल टू डे कॉन्फरन्स but i was too late in reading today i feel worse i feel i should have been on that side because there were so good talks that you had to learn learn from they could fire your imagination your your perhaps ability to think decide and set new goals because all of them were futuristic being young no whatever profession you choose whatever domain you choose to specialize in you would like to see that it has a sustainable future and i was jealous i never had these kinds of talks to listen to when i was young i would have perhaps learned much more and could have done far more health is a sector which was traditionally you know if you look at it it was traditionally a neglected sector covid fortunately it brought it to the center stage people started recognizing the value of health it was not only policy makers but even an ordinary human being they started understanding the value of health per se we achieved a lot no if you actually reflect upon you will realize within one years time we could develop vaccine world over we could immunize now huge population across the world we could even think in terms of daring to say that our adult immunization experience despite being far too lesser excepting for pregnant women we did really well you look at medicines that have been developed they took time but now you have one of the best medicines paxlovid you look at the development of different apps at that juncture and you realize we could even monitor implementation of programs and really well so if you look at one of the biggest achievements at district level now you have platforms which can actually do molecular level tests that was something unheard of diarrheal diseases they also become less you look at involvement of the community to understand preventive aspects for covid it was really nice but there are two three things which will perhaps make our lives very difficult one of the things which we have to realize is covid is not yet gone perhaps if a new variant comes up in china it may not be related to sars cov 2 but it may be a absolutely new corona virus that may come if they are unable to control this particular infection in covid one of the things that happened we lost track of other communicable diseases you look at tb the death rates are high as of now new infections are also higher at, at this particular juncture and you have a goal that pm articulated some time back that tb will be eliminated in 2025 there is going to be a flurry of activity in next couple of years time 
new and newer strategies are going to be tried the program will be monitored every week because the challenge is immense we also lost track of other diseases which were disease elimination goals for 2030 how will we make it up we really do not know do covid brought us brought health to center stage we must also realize that we have spent huge amount of money on covid the result is my gut feel perhaps you will find it difficult to get good allocation in health now because the priorities are changing because of geopolitical risks that have added further to the covid pandemic you have to balance no today if you actually look at the allied professionals allied professionals are more required in urban areas where tertiary care is actually important for delivery the efforts to increase the level of healthcare to be provided at district level has started off late they are going to create id blocks at all district levels there would be 10 icu beds all across but at the same time the pace is also likely to be lower one of the bigger challenges that all allied professionals will perhaps have to face is to do a good advocacy to integrate well both in the urban healthcare as well as primary healthcare and that would be a key challenge for all of us the only way your advocacy can become successful is you need to have good skills today while we were discussing i came to know for the first time that there is some respiratory course that you had and i didn't know the first thing first thing i told was none of us were aware if we knew that such such people are available who are trained to handle ventilators during those first 2 to 2 to 3 months perhaps we would have had gone to them and we would have had said take over the task for the entire country the reason why i am telling this is only because you need to be good advocates you need to ensure that there is visibility and then raise demands i'm sure perhaps those issues will be tackled really well over a period of time we will have to advocate for health to remain at the center stage for some time now all the deliberations that you had perhaps are good for even preparing a proceeding and i think we should advocate on each branch each domain that the speaker spoke about have good brainstorming sessions and come out with suggestions for government of india that will that will create a brand image for symbiosis but brand image cannot be only a responsibility of symbiosis it's up to all of us we have to work hard and ensure that the brand image goes up i'm sure together symbiosis and all of you we will see a brighter future which will also reflect on health outcomes thank you